I am Anil Kumar and in this question we will consider domain range of transformed functions. Now this is a test problem. I like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestion. The question is, the function f of x has domain of x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and range is y belongs to real number where y is less than or equal to minus 1. Determine domain range for the following functions. Now before writing domain range, let us understand the transformation. So the transformation here is that the x value should be subtracted by 1. So we have x minus 1 and the y value will get multiplied by 2. Right. So that is the kind of transformation. In this particular case, the x value, we have to rewrite the function to get the right answer. So, so in this case, we can write the function as, it's very important to factor and then, then find the answer, right, two times. So we should factor minus x first. So we get, uh, I mean, minus first, okay. So we get x and then plus one, okay. So, so that is how we should factor and write this, correct. So that becomes the factored equation. So in this case, x values will become negative. So we have negative x and plus 1 means moving left by one unit. The y values get multiplied by 2 and then 2 of original y and then minus 3. So that is, that is how it is, correct? So these are your x and y values. For the last function, again, we'll factor. So let me factor as we did before. So we'll have minus 2 f of minus x, x, I mean, same mistake I did again. Let me rewrite this with, with black color. Okay, so we will write this again, which is equals to minus 2 f of minus, and we get x minus 1 plus 3, correct? That is how it is. So the transformation in this case is for the x values, we'll get negative of the original x value and then moves right so plus one so that is x values y values will get multiplied by negative two of y and we'll add three to that so that is how it is going to be so basically these are your x and y values right do you get the point okay so that is how it is going to be now let us consider domain and range for these functions. So let me write domain here, right, for each one of them and then the range. Okay, so for the first one, domain is x belongs to real numbers. So we are saying x belongs to real numbers for all, y belongs to real numbers for all. I'll only write this restriction, the one which is here, right. I hope you understand. Okay, so the x values are greater than minus 2 and here to the x value we have to take away 1. So if I take away 1 it will be x is greater than equal to take away 1 means minus 3 to get the point. As far as the range is concerned we have to multiply that by 2. So range becomes it should be y here okay. So it's be y belongs to real numbers where y should be multiplied by 2 less than equals to minus 2. You get the point? So, so domain is all this and, and I'm just putting this. Okay. And that's the range where this is the condition. And that is for the first one. For the second one, it is x is from greater than minus 2. So it becomes negative. So when it becomes negative, this becomes less than 2. Do you understand? So here, x becomes less than equal to 2, and from that, we will take away 1. So it is less than equal to 1 in this particular case. Okay, that is how the domain will get affected. As far as the range is concerned, it gets multiplied by 2 and then take away minus 3. So y will be less than equals to, multiply by 2 means minus 2, Minus 2 minus 3 will be minus 5. So that is how the range will be. Now for the last one, as we did earlier, the value of x is 
we have to do negative of x and then add 1. So if I do negative of x, sign changes, correct? So it will be less than equal to minus 2 becomes plus 2 and to that we add 1. So x is less than equals to plus 3. As far as y is concerned, minus 2 means the sign changes. So it becomes greater than equal to minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2 and we'll add 3 so it becomes 5. So that is how the domain and range is going to change. Do you understand? So that is going to be the domain range for our transform functions. Right? I hope you understand my nomenclature. I'm writing this as x belongs to real numbers so that x is less than equals to 3. That's the domain and range I'm writing y belongs to real numbers so that y is greater than 5 for c. Right? So that is how we should be considering domain and range. I hope that helps. Go through this video and understand how to really find domain and range of restricted functions. Thank you.